that's where you'd be sleeping. This is so great. Toilet, yes. Just crazy that we're doing this. It almost feels like you shouldn't be here. Like it feels super, super exclusive. This is the best thing you can buy cake wise anywhere on the planet. Hey, travel lovers, welcome back to A Wanderlust for Life here on YouTube. I am so excited about today's video because as you know, our tagline is showing you memorable experiences around the world, but mostly in Europe and you know, right now, mostly in Amsterdam because that's where we live. We are staying in not just a tiny house, but it's a tiny house in the form of an old harbor crane, yes. This is what I've been so like stoked to show you because you can stay here too. It's part of a hotel company here in Amsterdam and it's this whole thing. So let me show you around. First, we are here in the living room area. We have the heater going because it is nice and cool. It's winter time here and it's nice and dark and rainy. So if you're wondering why the sun isn't shining, well, there you go. So this is the living room. We have one space for um, keeping stuff in a closet, not super exciting, right? But we have this TV that is actually on a swivel mount and that's really nice in such a small space because then you can be anywhere. Um, we do have the heater going, like I said, but it does have central heating, which is really, really nice. It's just, we were super cold and our toes needed a little extra warming. Great couch with great views everywhere. This place is just covered in windows because we are on the eye. A lot of people call it a river. I don't actually know what it is, but we are on the river that separates Amsterdam from our neighborhood, Amsterdam North, which is super exciting. So now I'm gonna show you the kitchen. To my left is the entrance. To my right are the very, very Dutch, very, very steep stairs that even freak me out. But so far we haven't had a problem. Now the kitchen. This is such a great space. First of all, having breakfast here, having dinner here with this view. This is such a heavy duty table. It's super sturdy and this is like a marble type. And then over here, you have everything you can need. I mean, check this out. You have a sink, which I think it might actually be bigger than ours. Microwave, we have a induction stove. Is that what that's called? Yeah. Um, coffee maker, kettle. We have all the wine glasses. There's a dishwasher, a refrigerator, everything you need in this kitchen. Next, I'm gonna show you the first floor. That's just what I'm gonna call it. This will be the ground floor, and then we'll go up to the first floor, up the stairs, let's go. If I look more disheveled than I did before, we actually just ordered in for lunch, so I ran out in the rain, but you can order like Uber Eats and Deliveroo and stuff here, which is super helpful. But we're gonna go up, and uh, you can see how steep these stairs are. Let's go. This is the bathroom at the top of the stairs. It's immediately to your right. And check this out. I was not expecting this to be so big. And if you can hear this, the rain is really loud and I kind of love it. So we have a massive bathtub here, a normal size sink, pretty good size shower, toilet, everything you need here. There are little toiletries here, body lotion, shampoo. They didn't have any soap for the sink up here or down the stairs, which is weird, um, but they do a bath and shower gel. Don't know if that's just a quirk, just seems a little weird during these times. But this is the full bath. There's something really, really interesting in the second bedroom. Can't wait to show you that. That will have to be tomorrow morning. So you'll have to wait until the end of the video because you will not want to miss it, I swear. But now we're gonna go check out the first bedroom. As Soon as you walk out of the bathroom, you come straight in and here's the bedroom. Ta-da! So massive bed in here, like massive. Is this a king size bed? It looks, it looks like a king size bed. So this looks super cozy and all that and it's super warm, but there's also a closet space over here and a TV. There's TVs everywhere. There, this is the second TV and there is a third in the second bedroom, but there's just something so weird about the second bedroom that it's just super interesting. And the reason is this door right here goes outside Then there's ladder stairs that take you to the second bedroom. That's why we're gonna wait until tomorrow to show you because it's super, super unique. So why are we staying here? Well because I really wanted to. We're not working with them or anything. They had a good deal and I took them up on it because I've been wanting to stay here since I found out about it, basically. We are in the east part of Amsterdam. This is east of Central Station. Super easy to get here. There are buses and a tram, so it could not be easier. 
For now, we are gonna go downstairs and eat our lunch and we are gonna just chill out because this rain is so relaxing and we're just gonna enjoy our time here. But later tonight, I'm gonna show you what we get for dinner because it is a meal that you should definitely have in Amsterdam and if you've watched all of our videos, you'll have kind of a sneak peek into it. So stay tuned for that and what the second bedroom looks like. All right, so we had lunch. We've been chilling on the couch watching Travel Beans because it's our new obsession. If you haven't been watching Travel Beans on YouTube, you should. I'll leave their link down below for you to check them out. And I've just ordered dessert. <laughs> It's a little early, yes, but I wanted to get it before it was too late. And I have already ordered our dinner. I have to go pick it up in about an hour. It's about a 15 minute walk, or if I catch the bus the right time, it'll be like five minutes, which will be great, but I doubt it. It's still rainy, it's still cold, so wish me luck. But the next time you see us, we will be unpacking our delicious, delicious dinner that you should definitely try when you're here in Amsterdam. Fold you. <laughs> I'll show you where I'm going to get dinner. Um, I was gonna walk, but it's raining and nasty. And then I remembered that Ye's actually let you have bikes. So I have unlocked it, I'm ready to go. And I've never ridden a Van Moof before. They're like the bikes here. <laughs> and so I'm actually really excited to ride. But don't expect footage because it's raining and dark. Hi again. I know the audio changed because I had to take off the mic because it's raining so much. I don't wanna, um, heard it, <laughs> but um, the bike actually is designed very differently from mine, and I can't, I don't feel like I'm in control of it because the basket is attached to the body and not the handlebars, which is where mine is, so I'm used to, like the weight distribution's totally different, and I didn't feel like I could comfortably drive it. Um, the good news is I fit on it. A lot of Dutch bikes I can't even fit on, but yeah, that was a shame. I really wanted to ride it. <laughs> it felt like a really good bike. Okay, I'm back, I'm wet and cold. But that is no surprise because it's cold and wet out. But I got food and we got a rice toffel from Hotel Jakarta, right? Yeah, I didn't show you because I was so wet and cold, I forgot, I'm sorry. You ready to dig in? Let's do it. All right, so a rice toffel is Indonesian food. And from what I understand, when the Dutch colonized Indonesia, it was kind of a way for them to try different kinds of Indonesian food. So it's almost like a tapas, would you say? Yeah. yeah. But um, it's specific food. And every place I think does it a little differently. If you watch one of our videos on food in Amsterdam, like foods that you should try in Amsterdam, a rice tafel was one of them at Mama Makin. Loved it. We really wanted to try this one as well. <laughs> I don't know all the dishes because they're Indonesian. They're hard to remember. Um, and I will leave a link down below for Cafe Jakarta. They're only doing takeaway right now, which works well for us. But we have, I think like at least eight different things to eat here and they're all gonna be delicious. We're gonna go ahead and just show you some B-roll. <laughs> So that rice toffel was good, but we both agree that we think we like Mama Makin's better. We're gonna have to go back, try theirs again when restaurants open up, to be sure. But now it's time for dessert, and we got a delivery from Sea Salt and Chocolate. This is my favorite cake place. That's cookies though. Um, <laughs> so I got my favorite, Let me get down in the fridge, the salted caramel chocolate cake. This is the best thing you can buy cake-wise anywhere on the planet. I also got, just to try it, there's a cinnamon swirl thingy. These are gonna go home with us. <laughs> we are not eating all these today. And Sean got a red velvet cheesecake that he's gonna try. I think we're both a little full for now. <laughs> so we're gonna save these for later, but I just wanted to show you. We are gonna have these a little later. Get ready for bed, go to bed. Tomorrow morning, I cannot wait to show you the one room that's left in this place. Stick with me because seriously, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Good morning. For sunrise, we snuck up to the second bedroom. I told you you have to go outside. Check out these stairs, how insane are they? So they weren't very safe <laughs> when it was cold and rainy and like pouring, but this morning it was absolutely fine. And now we're just snuggled up in this bed 
waiting for sunrise if it comes because it's still very cloudy but it's just so snuggly and it has its own temperature um, control up here and its own TV and toilet. <laughs> Crazy, right? But we're just hanging out and enjoying the view over the eye. I feel perched up here with a view that I will probably never have again. And it almost feels like you shouldn't be here. Like it feels super, super exclusive and just kind of like you're in a little nest. This top part feels like a little nest, it's crazy. But I love watching the boats go by, the birds are in the water, the runners, this seems to be runner's paradise. <laughs> the runners are going by the crane. I think they actually go under the crane, if I'm not mistaken. So this was a harbor crane that they used in the old shipping days where this used to be the Dutch shipping company area. And it's just magnificent. I just can't get over how cool, how well thought out this place is. I'll give you my full review at the end, but this is so unique. And if you're looking for a unique place to stay in Amsterdam, I would look into this place. Obviously, I'll put a link down below for you, um, but this has just been magnificent. And I love the company behind it too, because their whole thing is embracing the neighborhood. And that's really important to me as well. So, oh, yeah, just crazy that we're doing this. Thank goodness for super wide lenses. <laughs> this is the bed. So the temperature controls are right there. This is the view you get if you sleep up here. TV, skylight, and toilet. Yes. So you don't have to go downstairs outside in the rain. The door's right here, so it is really cramped. And then hangers, shelf, place for your shoes. I'm gonna give you a quick review and then I'm gonna show you the outside before we go get breakfast. We are about 20 minutes from checking out, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. Overall, this place is super, super cool, highly recommended. That is the first thing I wanna tell you. Um, Overall, this place was great. The couple things that I wanted to tell you about is if you come in the winter, the downstairs is kind of chilly. There is um, a space heater that you can use. So it's not too bad, but the bedrooms are super toasty and really nice. So no worries there. Um, the kitchen's been great. The living room with the TV, just kind of um, chilling, super comfortable, really nice. The only thing that I really had a problem with was some things were dusty and not quite super duper clean, but all of the reviews say like this is super, super clean. So I don't know if it's just nobody's been here for a while or whatever, but um, I did feel like there were some places <laughs> like the hangers, the TV, because I was gonna use HDMI. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, the stairs are super duper steep. So please know that you can go up and down super steep stairs before you come because that is just a really big issue if you can't. <laughs> and if you want to go to the second bedroom that's all the way up top, just make sure that you have strength in your hand to you know, use the handrail and everything because safety first, safety first people. Um, the bedroom, we actually stayed in the lower bedroom because it was raining and wet outside, but it was so nice and super toasty. We laid in bed and watched TV. It was great. The bathroom was also really nice. The only thing is there's no, there's no place in the shower to like put your stuff. There's no shelves or anything, so that wasn't great. And my biggest, my biggest frustration with this place is there's no hand soap. Um, there's no hand soap in the kitchen down here. There's no hand soap in the bathroom. And this is filmed December 2020, and I just felt with the pandemic that that was a bit weird. Um, so hopefully, yays, if you're watching this, add some hand soap. Super easy. Um, the upstairs, upstairs bedroom, super, super awesome. It was just too difficult and cold and slippery to get up there last night, but we spent some time up there this morning and it was really, really nice. So highly recommended. I just hope you guys can come here if you are able. It's a great, unique place and I just don't want you to miss out. So now I'm gonna show you the outside.
course today is an absolutely gorgeous day. It has even become blue skies. So this is the outside of the crane. Kind of amazing, right? So that bottom one with the open shutters, that is where the kitchen is. And then the two windows above it, that's where the bathroom is. The orange part up there is where the second bedroom is because there's a deck on the side. So that's where you'd be sleeping, right on the eye. <laughs> this is so great. I just, I'm so excited we did this. All right, now off to breakfast and then we're gonna say goodbye. All right, for reference, here's the ferry stop. There's the ferry. This is the bus stop. There's a bus. There's a tram. And if we just turn around, there is the crane. Super easy. And we just went to the bakery nail cha and Sean has all the bags. <laughs> um, super cute, super small shop. And because of COVID right now, uh, we were the only ones in there. <laughs> and there was a line like literally as soon as we went in. So I hope we didn't have to make anybody wait. Um, but we got what apple strudel and I got a cinnamon uh, croissant and he got a cheese croissant. That's his go-to. And now we are headed home and we're gonna grab probably that tram right there see it i don't know anyway thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more unique places to stay in amsterdam and the netherlands i will leave a playlist right next to my head you don't have to go far check it out see you next time Bye.